Stan Gibalisco, W1GV, here at your service from the Noid Cave, running on emergency power right now because I test my generator every two weeks to be sure that it will properly operate all of these computers and ham radio equipment. As I've harped on before, ham radio will work when everything else fails. Well, everything else except the generator. There's the cord. It starts at the uninterruptible power supply, which will keep the thing going for a few minutes while I uh, refuel the generator. The cord runs down the hall into the dark recesses where the spiders love to roost. Looking for a mate this time of year, they come inside where it's cool and dark instead of 90 degrees like it is outside. There is the generator. This is a wonderful little generator provides approximately 2,000 watts of power at peak demand. I never run it anywhere near that capacity. It has a uh, special feature that will keep it running only as fast as it needs to go in order to provide the power that it is called upon to deliver. So it conserves fuel. It'll run for several hours on only one gallon of premium grade petrol, otherwise known as gasoline. Back into the spider mating chamber. The code that you hear, the Morse code, is a bulletin being sent at 18 words a minute from the American Radio Relay League headquarters describing the current solar storm that we're having. That's the frequency that they're transmitting on. They're telling us that we're uh, having bad conditions on the ham radio bands right now, and I don't think they really need to tell me that. It's pretty obvious just by listening on the radio and hearing nothing but noise. That is the waterfall display that I have going. There you can see the thunder showers south and east of my location. My location is the little plus sign up to the left of Rapid City in the Black Hills of Dakota where Rocky Raccoon had his adventures. And that is a spectrum display of the signal that you can now barely hear coming from Newington, Connecticut. I remember that station well. I used to work there long, long ago when I first got this call sign, W1GV, in Connecticut, New England. Aloha.